News from around the globe. Hot, fresh, balanced and objective. On Unity. Hello and welcome to News Hour on Unity TV. The headlines. Marketers say petroleum may hit 800 naira per liter on subsidy removal. NNPC Secretary Doms Kwankosos joined Atikus PDP. Bauchi police uncovers kidnappers Amory recover three AK-47 rifles. On the foreign scene, China reported nearly 13,000 COVID-19 deaths last week and in sports. In Katia goal hands Arsenal win over Man United. Those were the headlines and for the details and other stories, my name is Suleiman Hassan. As the scarcity of the premium motor spirit popularly called petrol continue on Sunday, oil marketers have stated that the cost of the commodity will cross 800 naira per litre on subsidy on PMS if subsidy on PMS is removed. Industry operators had repeatedly stated that the high cost of subsidy petrol was a burden on the Nigerian Petroleum Company Limited, was contributory to the prolonged crisis in the downstream oil sector. NNPC is the sole importer of petrol into Nigeria. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, recently suggested that the government should gradually withdraw subsidy on PMS, stressing that the budgetary allocation for subsidy will end in June. But oil marketers told newsmen that while it could be advisable to remove subsidy, Nigerians should know that cost of petrol could cost 800 naira per litre once the commodity was no longer subsidized. They urged federal government to ensure that all the necessary measures and infrastructure to ensure a less stressful subsidy removal regime were put in place before implementing the decision. The federal government has accepted the resignation of Haji Anaja Atubala Muhammad as a member of the Police Service Commission PSC. Her resignation as a commissioner was confirmed last night by sources in the Police Affairs Ministry. She was representing the Northern Zone in the commission. According to the sources, the federal government conveyed President Muhammadu Buhari's appreciation to the commissioner for her service to the government and Nigerians. Naja Atu had on the 19th of January 2023 also resigned her position as the director of the Civil Society Directorate of the Presidential Campaign Council of the Old Progressives Congress, APC, ahead of the 2023 general elections. And still talking politics, the Secretary of the New Nigeria People's Party, NNPP North East Zone, Dr. Babayo Limang, alongside hundreds of supporters, have dumped the party for the People's Democratic Party in Gombe State. Limang, who is also a member of the Kwankosos Presidential Campaign Council, stated this at a news conference on Saturday in Gombe. The secretary, who said the public relations officer of the NNPP zone, Ibrahim Tal, also resigned his appointment in favor of Atiku and asked over 60,000 members to defect to obtain the PDP membership card. He then urged Kwankosu to withdraw from the race and support the candidature of Alhaji Atiku Abubakar of the PDP. And in the area of security, 
Bandits have reportedly killed an elected councillor, Saleh Alawa, in Niger State. The sad incident occurred on Sunday in Alawa Village, Shiroro local government area of the state. It was gathered that the councillor was on his way to his village, Alawa, when he, he and his men ran into the bandits around Zumba Road where he was murdered instantly. However, his personal assistant escaped from the assailants. Angered youths in the area swung into action by embarking on a search of the bandits in the area and eventually succeeded in apprehending an informant at Guada town. The informant, it was gathered, has handed over to the police or has been handed over over to the police for more investigation and prosecution. The Commissioner for Internal Security and Humanitarian Affairs, Emmanuel Omar, when contacted, confirmed the incident, adding that effort is ongoing to apprehend the criminals. Still in security, gunmen have invaded the Gambar Sabolai community in the Tefawa Baleo local government area of Bauchi State and killed no fewer than five people. They also kidnapped one person in the process, leaving the community in total confusion. A resident of the community who craved anonymity explained that the gunmen stormed the area on Saturday night and shoot sporadically in the air to scare residents away before carrying out their nefarious act. However, operatives of the State Police Command have uncovered an armory of suspected kidnappers at Tudumwada area of Liman Katagum, Bauchi local government area of the state, are recovered three AK-47 rifles, among others. The command's public relations officer, Ahmed Wakil, who disclosed this in a statement on Sunday, said, the recoveries were done during an operation which took place on Sunday following an intelligence report. And on the international scene, China reported nearly 13,000 COVID-19 related deaths in hospitals between January 13 and 19, after a top health official said the vast majority of the population has already been infected with the virus. China, a week earlier, has said nearly 60,000 people had died with COVID-19 in hospitals as of January 12, but there has been widespread skepticism over official data since Beijing abruptly asked antivirus controls last month. China's Center for Disease Control and Prevention said in a statement on Saturday that 681 hospitalized patients had earlier died of respiratory failure caused by the virus infection or coronavirus infection and 11,977 had died of other diseases combined with the infection over the period. The figures do not include those who died from the virus at home. And in the sporting world, Arsenal retained control of the Premier League title race after Eddie Nketiah's 90th minute winner gave them a dramatic victory over Manchester United in a thriller at Emirates Stadium. Manchester City's earlier 3-0 win over Wolverhampton Wonders applied pressure on the Gunners, but they responded with character and quality even after going behind to secure a five-point advantage at the top with a game in hand. United's man of the moment, Marcus Rashford, 
fired home a superb right foot strike from 25 yards to give them a 17th minute lead. Arsenal responded fiercely and were level seven minutes later when Gran Xakas cross created a heading opportunity of Inketia, who got ahead or ahead of Aaron Wan Bisaka at the far post. Bukayo Saka's angle drive put Arsenal ahead eight minutes after the break, but their advantage lasted only six minutes with Lassandro Martinez heading his first goal for the club after keeping Aaron Ramsdale drop a counter or a corner. And with this, we come to the end of the bulletins for now. You can still follow us on our social media handles at Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Unity FM TV. Keep watching and enjoying the rest of our programs.